Hello and welcome to the section 5 Analyze TCP and UDP traffic. Now, in this section, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. We are going to analyze TCP and then UDP. Now, let's start with the video TCP and UDP overview. Now, in this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. So, first of all, we are going to learn about TCP and then UDP. So, guys, let's talk about TCP. So, TCP is Transmission Control Protocol. So, you can see here that TCP protocol provides stream based connection oriented transfer of data of the internet protocol family basically tcp performs three-way handshaking to create a connection between client and server it provides the described tcp port multiplexing and much more it establishes a logical connection obviously it creates a reliable connection against the problems of packet loss duplicate packets and such so the difference between tcp and udp is very simple basically tcp connection is reliable but udp connection is not reliable tcp connection is connection oriented udp connection is connectionless now if you come down how you can filter the tcp traffic you can see here display filters are available here show only the tcp based traffic so in the display filter of wireshark you can type tcp and you will get only tcp packets inside wireshark you can see here show only the traffic to and from tcp port 80 so you can also provide the port number by using tcp dot port double equal to 80 and it is going to filter the traffic all right so this is about tcp now similarly you can get information about the udp udp is user datagram protocol and it is connectionless as i already told you that tcp is connection oriented and udp is connectionless right udp is only a thin layer provides not much more than the described udp port multiplexing and the connection is not reliable udp doesn't provide any mechanism to detect packet loss duplicate packets etc that's why it is not reliable and so there are lots of protocol which are using UDP. For example, you can see BootP, DSCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, DNS is also using it, NTP, Network Time Protocol, SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol are using UDP. Similarly, you can use the UDP filter to filter the UDP traffic inside Wireshark. So this is all about TCP and UDP. Now we are going to capture and analyze. 